Namaste, Sasrikal, and welcome to everyone. I am your host Abraham and in this tutorial we will fix the URL which displayed in the last video tutorial and then also we will manage play all click button. So we will start with the correction of the URL. So we will here we will replace the playlist to song title because we want to loop over the song title list to display the user with the song title we'll do the same for other list also okay by making this correction replacing the playlist with the song title the last one this also will be song title and we finish now we'll collapse the block by right clicking on the block and then clicking on the collapse it collapse and then now we will go to our play all button okay here is our play all button we will expand this and then work on it make necessary changes and additions okay we'll go to the control block right and grabs if block and then place it just below the exo player post and then also from math we'll take this comparison wherein i uh, will go to dictionary and then grabs this get block and then go to text again and then grabs this empty text and set the key to flag okay to match the block again and then from here we'll grab this empty number and set it to the comparison and set it to one of course and then from the variable we'll grab this get for the dictionary name in this case it will be worship songs right now we'll go to the block below and grab this block and then drop it under the flag comparison block okay and then we will remove the worship song title okay we'll uh, drop it in the dustbin so that it gets deleted and we'll also do for this as well okay okay now let's uh, do let's duplicate this okay by right clicking and then we'll set it to the list here and then of course change the key to song title yeah and we'll duplicate again this block and then drag it to the list again here okay and then change it to playlist because we want the url to set to the source okay we'll set this block just below the block which just we created and remove this by dropping in the dustbin delete it we'll repeat the same and once i'm done i'll come back and show here you can see all the four blocks which i created in the same way okay okay you can see in the else statement is also the almost similar so we'll go to the topmost and then duplicate the first block i mean 
will actually duplicate all the four blocks okay and arrange them serially okay and once I am done I'll come back okay I am done arranging the blocks so now I will grab the topmost and then drag and drop it under else statement okay so let's do that but before that uh, we want only the source okay here so we will remove the unnecessary blocks you can see I am doing it by dragging top or oh, I mean over the update block and then also we are arranging the update blocks serially so that for us it is easy to delete together once we are done okay also we'll drag this and then remove this right now go up and then and drag the block okay uh, we need to actually bring the block below okay and then the block is so large that it is very difficult and it's time consuming for me to arrange it please bear with me and follow the same way how I am doing so that you don't make mistake right now that we have done um, we can actually yeah drag this block just below the block that we create and delete this block we don't need any more okay delete it we will also delete the block that we have arranged on the left side of our screen this block delete this as well by dropping in the dustbin and clicking on the delete button we are done we now we'll go up and collapse the block by right clicking and clicking on the collapse block okay now let's go to the when exo player complete we'll expand this by right clicking and the clicking on the expand block and we'll make necessary changes almost similar to the changes that we recently made okay let's uh, go to the control block and then grabs if block and drop it just below the yeah condition and then also we need a um, comparison from math not from tax okay and then we'll almost do like the one that we have done earlier okay and then we want also a number we'll set it to one so actually we are checking the flag if the flag is one or not for a specific dictionary so from that now we need to go to the dictionary and grabs this get uh, this key value and of course we'll go to the text and then write down here after setting the block flag okay and then from dictionary okay we'll set the dictionary in this case it will be worship song uh, click on the drop down and then you should have your worship song okay and then I will grab the block the worship song block and drop it just below the flag comparison and also remove this by dropping in the dustbin and then we'll duplicate the flag uh, key and then set it to song title okay and then uh, we'll do the same for the remaining blocks as well okay we'll just duplicate and paste it below serially for all the four categories okay and make necessary changes in the dictionary name 
and once I am done I'll come back to you. Okay, we are done with the uh, flag comparison and setting uh, you updating the UI. Now we will grab the block and just drop it below the condition block. Okay, and then we can remove this drop in the dustbin and click on the delete and it should delete for you. Okay. We also need to set the URL for a specific dictionary. Okay, so we will do almost similar to the one that we just did, only we will replace the update UI with the exoplayer source of the specific playlist. Okay. So we'll duplicate the block, okay, and then drag and drop it just below the global variable, okay. And then, of course, we'll we don't want the UI to be updated in this case, so we can remove the UI, okay, and then replace it with the uh, condition. Okay, that's, that checks the length of the playlist. Okay, here we need to replace the length of the playlist. So, let's uh, remove this one and then duplicate the get key value okay and then uh, set it to the song title okay in that way we are comparing okay whether it is lesser than the current position okay if it is lesser then we set it to uh, zero okay we also duplicate the key value and then here we'll write playlist because we want the source to be set to the exoplayer source so that we can start playing as soon as we press the previous button okay we will remove this as well we don't need okay now we'll do for other remaining blocks as well the same way that we just did it yeah this one we will duplicate it and place it just above that and then make uh, select the yeshua band to titanic music and in this case also titanic music because we want to check the list of the titanic music in case of source also we want the titanic music source so we'll repeat this okay
we are done let's go down and then check if we still have other conditions or other changes that we need to do and under else also we need to work here uh, we need to update the ui based on the flag okay so what we will do we'll go up and then maybe we can mm, duplicate okay or yeah i think we can do one thing okay let's grab the if condition here okay this and then uh, we'll grab uh, math comparison we'll do almost similar like we have done earlier okay so first of all we check if the key value flag is set to one or not for ev for all categories and of course we need a dictionary here okay and then uh, write down flag and then select the dictionary which is the worship song and then we'll grab this block ui update block and set it okay and then also we'll remove the title and then replace with our get key value and of course we need a dictionary the worship song dictionary so we select the worship song right and then also we need an empty text and then we'll write song title because we want to update the song title so now we'll grab and just drop it below the block that we just created and remove the all blocks and we'll repeat this for other three items as well completed when exoplayer complete player function trigger by arranging and making changes so we can uh, collapse the block okay now we will uh, make changes in the player control where there is a button for previous song next song okay so we'll go with the previous song will do almost similar here as well we will uh, grab the ifs block and then make comparison for the flag if the flag is set one in case of the first category then 
we make changes in the UI or we update the UI okay and also we play the next I mean previous song okay so we need to set the, set the source also so it is almost similar you just watch it till then once I'm done I'll come back Okay, we finish uh, setting the UI now we will set the uh, source of the song okay so first we will compare the total song title with the previous position okay if the position of the, I mean if the total song title is lesser than one okay then we set it to uh, the total title a song okay or the song title of that uh, specific uh, song category so we do that by setting the dictionary uh, value of okay and the key will be song title of course and then okay we'll grab the source of the song and set it just below the block where we make a comparison then here we'll duplicate the key value again and set it to the song playlist title I mean playlist I mean yeah playlist of course so that we get the URL set to the source of the exo player, okay? 
and will of, of course drag and drop the uh, play button I mean play function and other stuffs and delete the one that we don't need anymore because now we have the uh, playlist so we will do one thing we will do we will duplicate everything in the same way for other three categories as well okay I mean there are total in this case a uh, worship song YouTube music Titanic music and Yeshua band so we'll do the same thing for all other items as well Okay, now let's go down and see where we can make more changes so here we have another change to be done okay we will do the same thing here and we'll upgrade the I mean we'll update the UI okay uh, by said uh, comparing the flag it's almost like the before we have done you just follow it watch carefully
now we'll work with the next button click okay so when we will compare the flag again here and then upgrade the UI okay when we click the next button it's almost similar say so watch it carefully again Okay, setting the next uh, song URL okay here so we make first of all uh, we look for the flag comparison okay and then once the flag is set to one and then uh, we will set the uh, I mean we will compare again the total song title with the current uh, position okay if it is greater than the current position then we set the current position to zero so that is what we do here we compare uh, you can see the song title of the specific um, uh, playlist okay and then if the okay we set the source here we'll replace the song title with the playlist okay so we are setting the with the current position okay uh, which is incremented to one okay so we do the same for all other as well and we delete uh, which are not required anymore you can see just follow it
have completed arranging the source for all the four categories so now let's go up and search if there is anything that we need to make changes further okay we'll delete this we don't need any more let's generate the QR code so that we can download after the scanning the QR code from our app in the handset okay I have installed the app let me open it and then play one of the song let's play Titanic let's click next song okay let's click next song again let's click on the previous song we are checking it okay so it's working fine let's pause it's pausing let's play and it starts again let's pause okay now it's working fine now Okay, let's play YouTube song. Next. Okay, you can see the level also being uh, updated just above the player control. If you like my video tutorial, please subscribe like and share and stay tuned for the next video tutorial